This morning I have got up and driven to, and I hope I get the pronunciation on this right, and I'm really sorry if I don't, Tilake Pake Art Centre in Sedona. It's quite a fancy little shopping centre, but I have come here for a very specific purpose. Those of you that know me know I love a chai latte, like love a chai latte, and there is an amazing chai latte shop here. It was an absolutely beautiful day in Sedona, about 15 degrees I think, so I decided to drive up to the Chapel of the Cross. It's quite near the Broken Arrow Trail, which is a surprise I'm saving for later. Architecturally, the Chapel of the Holy Cross is very cool. It's built into the red rocks and it's built with kind of a red concrete. So it blends in with the rocks. It looks very, very cool if you get either a side on or a face on view. It's also in an absolutely amazing location. There are so many trails around here and parking trailheads as well. This is an amazing place to hike in Sedona. It also has glass mirrors, so it reflects the red rocks and it looks beautiful. I think you can see both Bell Rock on the right and Courthouse Butte on the left here. And I think that rock in the foreground is Chicken Point, but don't quote me on that. And we're going to come back to that in a future video. Stay tuned. And that's Cathedral Rock way out there. So you can take a turn just off the 89A up to the airport Meza viewpoint. It's maybe about 10 minute drive. There's a really lovely, as you can see, like viewpoint where you can see some of the red rocks. I unfortunately don't have all of the names of all of the rocks. Um, there's not great documentation online, but I've tried my best where I know to give you the names of the rocks. Visiting Sedona gave me my first taste of the Red Rocks and Sedona is a really great place to visit A if you've never seen the Red Rocks before because there are hundreds of them here but secondly it's kind of an outdoorsy mecca there are loads of trails loads of hike it's really outdoor friendly and if like me you're a vegetarian or you're kind of maybe a little bit alternative or counterculture there is so much here that you will love there are crystal shops, vegetarian cafes, there's organic food, there's just, it's an amazing place to go to if you love kind of an alternative vibe. I, it's one of my favorite places. So I just went to something called Chola Tree, I think it's called, which is a vegetarian restaurant in Sedona. And I've got, this is an enchilada, I think, baked enchilada. It looks pretty good. It's all natural ingredients and it's all organic and vegetarian. So yeah, it looks pretty good. The sunsets in Sedona are pretty epic. Bye from Sedona.